Awesome. So, passenger is going to sit in the basket like so. Okay? This is very important. Uh, we're keeping all of our body parts and belongings inside the basket at all times. Okay. okay? Uh, any belongings, family heirlooms, jewelry, cell phones, wallets, keys, please leave them here if you do not need them. Okay? If you need them, please bring them, but keep them secure. Okay? okay. Body parts. Can we keep... bring them just to take pictures of any Yes, time? of course. Yeah, okay. yeah. So keep them secure if you do need to bring something. Okay. Yeah, if you don't need to bring it, don't need to bring it. Okay. Uh, and then the next thing is body parts. Okay? Keeping your body parts inside the basket at all times is very important because you will hit trees, you will hit rocks, you will brush up against things. Okay? If you keep your things inside, you will be safe. Okay? You will bounce off of things. Okay? Mm -hmm. The sled is designed to keep you safe at all times as long as you're inside of it. Okay? Uh, the next thing that you're going to be responsible for is if your sled ever ends up in a ditch. Okay? Ergo, if your driver drives you straight into a ditch. Okay? <laughs> So, oh. what you're going to need to do okay, is fix it, okay? And what that looks like is the passenger's going to hop out of the basket, the driver's going to stay on the brake. The passenger's going to grab this section, they're going to angle the sled back in the direction that you need to go. Oh. Once that is in the direction that you need to go, they're going to go out of the ditch, okay? Uh, the sled and the dogs are going to travel out of the ditch, the passenger can hop back and you can continue on moving, okay? It's very simple. You guys will get the hang of it if you ever end up in a ditch. So the okay? driver never really leaves, so they can have the nope. brake on. Yeah, the driver will never leave the back of the sled because they are the driver. If they are not in control of the brake, the dogs will leave you. Oh. Will we have a chance to switch drivers? Yeah. Yeah. So we have a halfway brake. You guys can switch then. Okay. Um, and then we're going to bring it back home to the gang line. Okay. The gang line has a couple things with it. Obviously, five energetic dogs are going to get tangled at some point. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to show you three things that you do not need to be concerned about. Okay. Number one is. Uh, a dog typically will run on either side of the gang line, okay? Two dogs will run on either uh -huh. side of the gang line. Sometimes what we see is two dogs running on one side of the gang line. This means that they love each other and they want to run together. Okay? Oh. This is totally fine. Allow them to run like this. Don't stop. Them, okay. okay. The second thing you might see is a dog with one paw over top of the gang line. This just means that they've hopped the gang line, they've switched sides or something like that, they've got a paw stuck, okay? With a hop, skip, and a jump, they are professionals. They can fix it themselves. Okay, don't worry about it. There's no pressure, no pain, no problem with this dog. Okay, don't stop for that. Okay, same goes for the third thing, which is them straddling the game like this. Okay, it might be rubbing on there for a little bit, but it's not causing them any pain. There's no pressure. Okay, if you guys see anything else other than those three things, let me know or let your guide know, whoever's on your tour, uh, and they will stop. They will check out that dog, make sure everything's okay. okay? How do we let them know that? You're going to yell, guide, Scott, Ryan, Claire, Sarah, anything. Claire's our second guide, so you can yell Claire. She's in the big blue sweater right there. Uh, but yeah, she will hear you. We're always looking back. If you guys yell something in a frantic tone, we will hear you. Okay? That wasn't funny. No. Okay. Cool. Got it. Not funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh, I'm the funny guy, guys. No. So, <laughs> okay. um, so, what we are going to talk about last is hookup. Okay, so that's the first thing that we're going to do as soon as we head outside. Hookup is the process of getting all of your dogs attached to the gang. Okay, it is a process. Okay, and you guys are going to help us out. Oh. Number one, you guys are going to keep your dogs where we leave them with you. Okay, which is going to be up at the front of your gang line. You're going to go up to the front, hang on to your dog's harnesses. Okay, so your lead dog's harnesses. Once we get you your lead dogs, you can grab one of them, keep them where we leave them with you, that will keep all of your other dogs. Okay? Uh, the very, very important thing is that all of the dogs, the 35 dogs that are going to be in the sleeping area, are not traveling all over the place meeting each other. Okay? Oh. There are some dogs that like each other a lot, and some dogs that don't like each other a lot, which are both big problems. Okay? We'll, we'll talk about it in a moment. Uh, <laughs> the second responsibility is getting to know your dogs. Okay? Loving them, cuddling them, pet them, kiss them, hug them. Okay? Get them. That you give them a chance to get to know you, your voice, your smiles, your sounds, all that sort of stuff. Uh, do not let them kiss you because they eat poop. Okay, <laughs> uh, you can't let them kiss you if you'd like, but I do. Uh, and then the last thing that we're going to ask you to do is watch out for three types of mischief. Okay, when dogs are not running, there you go. When they're bored, okay, they get into mischief, much like ourselves. Okay, uh, they <coughs> like to do three kinds of mischief. Number one is chew. Okay. Chewing is very dangerous because if a dog ever chews through this red line, okay, this red line right here, all of the dogs that are in front of that chew will now be set free running down the trail and they will be sprinting after them. Oh. Okay? Two things are going to happen if that ever happens to you. Okay? Number one is you're going to be out of a case of beer. Okay? <laughs> we like beer. And number two is <laughs> we will be chasing after the dogs running down the trail. Okay? Those are really the only two things that happen. Uh, the thing that you guys are going to watch out for is a chain attached to your gang line. Okay? If you ever see a chain attached to your gang line, that means that that dog is a self-identified bona fide chewer. 
okay? It will not stop them, it will only slow them down. Keep an extra special eye on that dog, okay? If you ever see any dog chewing, not even the ones with the chains, please stop that dog immediately by giving it some cuddles, some love, some attention, okay? It's doing something bad to get a positive reaction, okay? We give them that positive reaction because they don't listen to negative reactions anymore, okay? So please give them some cuddles, some pets, some love, okay? Uh, the second thing you might see are dog bites. If you ever see a dog bite, just get out of the way, okay? Sometimes we have dogs that don't like each other a lot, they meet, uh, bad things happen, okay? They are often a lot safer and, and less barren as bad as they look, okay, usually. Um, and then the third thing that you might see is puppy making, okay? It's gonna promote the opposite response, same response as, as uh, chewing. Please get in there like the best friend in a bar, okay? <laughs> Grab him as fast as you possibly can by the harness and pull him off of her as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, we have 150 dogs in the kennel right now. We just had a puppy, <laughs> a litter of puppies come in. We have one more coming. Ooh. We do not need any more puppies right now. <laughs> Please do us a solid and grab him by the harness and pull him off. Oh, okay. He will not bite you. He will not be angry. Okay, he will just be disappointed. Cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. So that would basically like it, <clears throat> if, if you're, well, they won't do that if they're, Running, right? No. All this is when we're stopped. Yeah, right? exactly. So the, the three types of mischief are during hookup, unhook, anytime we're stopped on trail, or halfway break. Yeah. Yeah. Passengers doing all of that. Yeah. As long as you're hooked down, you're good for driving and passing. Any questions? Would you guys like a recap of the five most important?